Hello, I'm Beverly from the Midland Public Library Program Assistant. And today on Know Your Local Species, we are going to learn about moles, voles, and shrews. All three small mammals can be found in your yard. Moles and shrews belong to the order of Insecta Victoria and as the name suggests, feed primarily on insects and invertebrates. Moles live underground and are specialized for life underground. Their small eyes and their opening of their ears are concealed in fur and there are no external ears. The most notable characteristics are the paddle-like forefeet, which are bent sideways for digging. Their feet have large claws for digging. Their hind feet are small and narrow and slender, sharp claws. Mole fur is short, soft, velvety. When brushed, offers no resistance in either direction. This ad adaptation allows moles to travel both forwards and backwards through the soil. Shrews hunt for insects above the ground and in tunnels made by moles or voles. Shrews are much smaller than a mole, three to four inch body in length, and are mouse like in appearance with long pointed snout, a short dense coat of fur and small eyes. Shrews do not create surface tunnels, but may feed in runways or tunnels of other small mammals. Voles are rodents and are about the same size as moles, four to six inches in body, with relatively large black eyes, small ears, a blunt face, prominent orange front teeth for gnawing. Meadow voles are the most common of voles. They're herbivores and eat a variety of grasses, seeds, and roots. The, the adult mole is about four and a half to eight inches long with dark gray and brown velvety fur. Its eyes are very small and broad, front teeth, and have strong claws for digging. Most do not eat plants, but feed mainly on earthworms, insects, and grubs. Some moles may damage tubers and roots of your garden, but any plant damage is most likely incidental or may be blamed on other small herbivores using the tunnel. Voles look like house mice, but have shorter tails, a round muzzle and a head, and small ears like a rodent. Voles have a singular pair of large chiseled incisors in their upper jaw and continue to grow as, they, as the tips wear away. The voles has a dark brown coat with a grayish belly that turns white in the winter in contrast to the house mow, which is uniformly gray. Voles search for green plants and seeds during the day and night and in winter. They travel in tunnels beneath the insulating snow, making round holes in the snow when coming to the surface. The mole and its tunnels can damage lawns, gardens, parks, golf courses, and cemeteries. They can kill plants when tunneling and removing soil around the roots. Plant disease may also spread by the mole's movement. Moles do not hibernate. They remain active all day and all night and all year round. During the winter, the mole looks for deep snow below the frost line. Most surface activity happens in the spring and the fall. Moles are solitary animals and it is likely that only one or two moles are responsible for the damage in your lawn. Predators to moles are cats, owls, snakes, they help keep the population down. Do you have moles or voles and shrews in your lawn? Do you ever see the brown lumps of sand coming up in your lawn? You probably do. I hope you've enjoyed this Know Your Local Species. Bye-bye.